In the 80s, boy bands New Edition and New Kids on the Block had one man to thank for bringing them to the masses, Maurice Starr. A singer and songwriter in his own right, he was a member of a couple of vocal groups beginning in his childhood. Unfortunately, they weren't successful, so he eventually decided to focus on songwriting and producing for other artists. In 1988, Maurice went back to the drawing board to create another teen boy band that would hopefully follow in New Edition and New Kids on the Block's footsteps. Enter Perfect Gentlemen. The original lineup consisted of preteens Corey Blakely, Tyrone Sutton, and Maurice Starr's son, Maurice Starr Jr. The boys sharpened their singing skills while touring with New Kids on the Block, and by the time their debut album dropped, it was safe to say that Maurice Sr. had done it again. Their debut album, titled Rated PG, dropped in 1990. It contains their smash hit, Ooh La La, I Can't Get Over You. The mid-tempo kiddie breakup song peaked at number 10 on the Billboard Hot 100 and number 12 on the R&B chart. The follow-up single, One More Chance, did make an appearance on the R&B chart, but missed the pop chart altogether. After the trio's debut album was released, Tyrone left the group and was replaced with Miles Wheeler and Maurice's brother, Steven Starr, turning the group into a quartet. In 1993, Perfect Gentlemen released their second album titled PG. It went largely unnoticed. Only two singles were released, Don't Forget to Call and I Need You. Both failed to make any impact on the charts and after that, the group faded into obscurity. So what have the guys been up to since their fleeting moment at the top of the pop charts? Corey joined the US military, Air Force to be exact. Beyond that tidbit of information, it's anyone's guess what else he has going on. Maurice Jr. and Steven Starr went on to create their own band called The Music Makers. They have been touring nationwide for many years. Miles, who later began going by Mass Pike Miles, signed his own solo record deal and has gone on to create a long career for himself in the music business, consistently releasing numerous mixtapes over the years. In 2012, he built his own writing, production, and publishing firm in Atlanta. He's collaborated with artists like Rick Ross, Jada Kiss, Meek Mill, Paul Wall, and Wiz Khalifa, as well as produced Grammy-nominated works for several artists. One of his latest tweets from November 2022 has him contemplating whether he should release a new song every week for the next year because he has that much material he's been hanging on to. So it's probably safe to say that his passion for singing and songwriting continues to remain strong. Out of all of the members, Tyrone has definitely taken his life in the most unexpected direction. For starters, he now goes by Temula Abdur Raham. After leaving Perfect Gentleman at 16, he ghost wrote for Dr. Dre and even put out a few rap records of his own. After that, things went downhill. A young and malleable Tyrone took to the streets for the better part of his young adult life. Then one day he decided it was time to take his life in a more positive direction. It all started when he discovered Islam. He ended up going to Saudi Arabia to educate himself on Islamic studies and ultimately embrace the religion wholeheartedly. When he returned to the US several years later, he took a position as a prison chaplain. As a black youth who had spent a fair share of time on the streets and learned many a life lesson in the School of Hard Knocks, he felt a strong connection to these forgotten people. His reformation work with prison inmates was so significant it reached the upper echelons of higher education, with Harvard University offering him a faculty position, serving as Imam, or Muslim chaplain. He accepted the position in 2015 and remained there for the next two years. His time ended up being so short at the Ivy League institution after he realized that his better off counterparts were not the people that could benefit the most from his teachings. So he left to start a podcast about convicted felons who have changed their lives, called X Conversations. He also mentors at-risk youth with his organization, Young Merchants Club, a program wherein kids make clothes and sell them. 